All right, another excellent feature uh, added to JavaScript with uh, ES6 is called destructuring. Destructuring is a great way for us to extract multiple values from an array or from an object um, in a very, very useful manner. So let's uh, get into some examples so I can uh, show you how this works. So I've declared a bunch of variables that I'm going to use down below and I have one object and one array. The array, I've got uh, two strings and a number, and in the object, I've got three properties, name, ID, and planet. So I'm going to start by showing how the destructuring works with arrays. So let's say that I want to take this person array, and I want to extract these three values and put them into variable names, but I want to do this as quickly as possible in one line of code. That's what destructuring allows us to do. So I create uh, an array here. I use the square bracket syntax. And then nm and num. These are going to be two variables that I'm going to be using. I declare them up here. Here's nm and num. And I say that is equal to person array. That's it. What this will do is it will go to the person array and the very first value this string will be placed into this variable. The second value will be placed into this. So if I console log out the results, there we go. Zavon, one, two, three. So these two were created. Now, we're not stuck by with picking only the first and only the second or only the third values. We can pick and choose. There's different ways that we can write this. We can say, I want to use the first value, skip over the second one, and then in the third one, I'm going to put star. And do that. So I'm just going to comment out these two. Do the same thing here. We'll console log nm and star. There we go. So nm will contain the first value of the array, the second value of the array will be skipped over, and the third one will be put into the variable star, which was declared up here. There we go. Save odd Beetlejuice. Excellent. Another way we can do this, if I want to take a specific value, let's say we'll start with nm again, I want that, but then I want to take everything else that's in the array. I'm not sure how many things there's going to be, but I know I want to extract the first element into one variable and then everything else into this. And we'll say person array again, console.log nm is there. And then rest is an array. So it's going to have everything else that's in the array. I should declare this up here as well. There we go, two. So there's two items remaining inside this array. If I was to come in here and say, give me item one from that array, that'll be the second thing in this array. So it should be Beetlejuice. And there it is. So that's destructuring with arrays fairly straightforward, I think. With objects, we have some other cool things that we can do with them. So it's going to do the same sort of thing to be able to extract things out, but because arrays are numeric lists and objects have property names, these are the names right here, we can use these names to target the individual values that we want to extract. So let's say that we're going to get the name and the ID. So these two things. We're going to get those two things from person obj. Now one other thing that we have to do here, if we're just doing this straight on the line, we're not doing it inside of the parentheses for a function call, then we do need to wrap the object like this with parentheses. So console log and I will write out name and ID. There we go. Oh, sorry. The parentheses needs to be at the end of this line. 
There we go. So name is Arthur Dent, ID is 42. We don't have to do it in that order. I can say planet and name. Get those two values. There we go, Arthur Dent, Earth. So these can be in any order at all. It doesn't make a difference which comes first, which comes second, and so on. It We don't have to include all of them. This will search for something called planet and take the value and assign it to this variable. This will search through here for a property called name, extract the value, and place it inside that variable. That's what the destructuring is going to be doing with objects. All right, now let's take an example with a function. So we'll create a new function called f, and I will use the arrow syntax for my function, like this. I am going to be calling this function down below, and I'm going to be passing in person obj. So this object right here is going to be passed to the function. Here's our input parameters. We need the curly braces because we are doing the destructuring. That's what kind of signifies the destructuring with an object. So inside of here, I can use name, ID, planet, or I can put properties that don't exist. So let's start with name and ID. And inside the function, we'll just console log out name, ID, planet. We'll start with those. Okay. Name, Arthur Dent, that was found. The first string right here, it was able to extract that. ID was found. Planet, although it was in the original object, didn't get passed into the variable planet because I didn't put it here. If I was to add the variable planet here, now, there we go, there it is. If I was to add something that didn't exist, star for example, so we had a star in here, but it's not inside this object, it doesn't exist as a property inside here. Um, I'll add it to my list of values that I'm trying to write out. There we go, undefined. I put it here, so it is being declared to be used inside my function. I'm writing it out here, but it was never given a value. It was declared, but it wasn't passed a value because there is no star property inside of this object. Now, one last thing that we can do is by, um, sorry, not obj, solve. That's our star. We are going to be assigning a default parameter. So I've got another video on default parameters. So I'll put the link to it down in the comments. Here we are assigning a default value. So if star does exist inside this object, it will get assigned. If it doesn't exist, this will be the default value, which gets used down inside here. And our last comment, there we go. So there is name, ID, planet, and star. And that's it. That's the basics of destructuring. So it's an ability to extract values from objects and arrays. We've got a whole bunch of things that we can do with it. Um, these are very simple examples here. I'll also put a link in the comments to the example from the uh, Mozilla Developer Network website. And they've got a bunch of other examples there that uh, I recommend you take a look at when you get a chance. As always, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments.